Hi guys, we are here today in Broadcast Asia at the Red Booth. Here is Shah from AVA who is the distributor for Red in Singapore and in Malaysia. So how are you today Shah? We are good. Busy? <laughs> oh god, we are so busy. It's yeah. crazy. So let's go and introduce us some Red cameras. Sure. What we have here is the Red Komodo X. It's the latest in the Red line of cameras. Um, the thing that's nice about it, it is that it is an 80 frames per second global shutter 6K camera. Right? And uh, it, it has a locking mechanism for the RF, uh, RF mount so that you can put your adapters in and lock them safely. And it's got a V mount for the batteries. Uh, it's very popular with people who are trying to shoot stuff that is cinematic. Because of the global shutter, it looks like film because it's taking one frame at a time in totality. And, um, and then because of the small size, it's, it's so flexible for, uh, for that kind of work. So as we've seen a lot of people coming in to, to get this lens. Um, while you're at it, you also might want to take a look at the... Uh, these are the Mercury lenses from Atlas and they are anamorphic lenses and they have a lovely, lovely look. So we have a lot of people who are coming to have a look at the lenses because of how nice they look uh, and the kind of image that they are able to give to the, the, the person. Yep. Uh, that's our uh, newest camera but at the show we also have uh, some of the other models that are very popular, the Komodo. It's been around for three years and it still proves to be very popular. They've been selling uh, lots and lots of these cameras and they are big big hit with people who are trying to do cinematic work uh, at a at a on a tighter budget but still get really great results all the cameras here including the komodo are all uh, certified by netflix for their shows so basically the this new model is actually the upgraded version of the no no it's no. totally a different series it's a totally a different series it's meant for different things like um like this camera is something that you use for your productions um but if you need something with a higher frame rate not everybody does but if you need yep. something with a higher frame Frame rate, you need to go to 80 frames a second, you can go with this. I see, and so it's just a different frame rate. Different frame rates. Um, the way that this is structured is actually more like a production camera in the sense that you then have a direct, a direct amount, amount for the monitor, which leaves the SDI free for a director's monitor. All right. uh, but they both have Wi-Fi, so you can still connect them up to your phone, or you can connect them up to any other you device. You can connect any proprietary uh, uh, monitors? You or? have to use a proprietary red monitor, okay. which has uh, uh, the correct mounting for, for this okay. so currently it's a 7 inch monitor but there might be better, uh, smaller ones coming out in the future I see understand so you got an extra SDI that you can make use of huh? yes uh, whereas on the for example the Komodo because it was a smaller one man operation kind of camera yep. the, uh, the SDI has to be used for the monitor itself for an external monitor like this yep. Yeah. so actually we, we do have a few questions sure why are red cameras so expensive well because you have to pay for what you get so the red cameras are expensive because of the things that you can do with them yes because the viewers at home they do not know why red cameras are so expensive okay so one of the reasons why red cameras are so expensive is because you're shooting at um, 6k resolutions and using a proprietary red 3d raw codec uh, that gives you the ability to take the, the footage in post and modify it for other things like you can you can you can craft the image to what you need it to be and that is very important in a in a camera like a, a something that you need to use for cinematic the flexibility is also there the amount of software support and other things that are happening with the, with the camera are also uh, very important so the fact that, for example, on this camera, you can use an iPad, an iPhone, an Android, or a computer, connect it wirelessly, yep. and have the video streamed over wirelessly, which I'll show you later. All right. And uh, what uh, and control every aspect of the camera. So you can have a CA with a with a with a tablet controlling everything that's happening on the camera. Wow, great! That is why it's so expensive. That is why <laughs> one of the reasons, but not the only reason. Why yes, it's we understand that. Okay. But the viewers don't understand. That's why. No problems. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the sure. next. Yeah. This is a product from a com from a company called Raid Protect. What it does is it transforms your Red Raptor camera, or it can also transform a Red uh, Komodo X into a full studio camera. 
This is something that you would use in a in a multi-camera shoot, like in a studio or a TV studio or, or something like that. And uh, this is interesting because it's one of the few studio cameras that will then allow you to shoot everything in 8K resolution. You might ask yourself, why is 8K important? Uh, but if you think about what's just happened, yep. uh, Apple has just released a uh, headset. Uh, yes, XR, Vision. Yeah. Vision Pro. And uh, Vision Pro for each eye, it's a 4K, 4K so it makes screen. 8K. Correct. <laughs> so now suddenly everybody's saying, hey, that's why 8K is important because you can yes. then shoot that degree of resolution. So um, previously, uh, RED was not really used in studios much because they didn't have the configuration for it. But now with the addition of this, it becomes a full-fetch studio camera at an 8K and at a budget that is... Uh, wow, so actually now a lot of clients regret that they never show in 8K. Correct. And then now, you all know what camera to use. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this is uh, what I was talking about. So now, if you are shooting in 8K, right, I mean, you're using the RED cameras, this is a control for the camera. You can control everything here. Via iPad, you get a live video image. You get uh, all the controls. You can change any of the settings, which I'm not going to... This is an app. This is an app. So this app. is an app, which you can then buy. It's No, it's free app for okay. any person that has a RED camera. You can buy a pro version of the app that will allow you to control up to eight cameras. Okay. You can even use the app to upgrade the firmware on the camera. You can initiate the firmware upgrade on the camera, right? And if you have multiple RED cameras, you can actually have like, oh, I want the settings of one camera, copy it onto another camera, and you can do it through the app. And it's all completely wireless. It's all completely wireless, and the app, uh, as long as it's not the pro version for single camera, is free. Ah, uh, yes. okay. Great. Uh, so let's move on to this. So what's happening here is we have a RED camera, and it's being connected via a USB-C to network adapter. This is yes. from a QNAP. Okay. So it's connected to the network to our computer over there. All right. So when I press record here, what's happening now is I'm able to record the red 8K file straight onto the computer. computer. Side. Yeah. So, so that you don't need to transfer from the camera, then other camera to the computer. Correct. Yep. And we can arrange it such that you can have up to like 10 cameras all working in that way and recording. Recording all at once to QNAP. Okay. Wow. Great. Uh, not to a QNAP hard disk. To a, uh, the computer. The computer yep. to the hard disk. Yes. Um, if you need to go for further distances, right? There is a version of the red. Um, uh, network where it is actually using uh, optic fiber optic fiber so this can go up to 10 kilometers if needed and what this will allow you to do is it will not only record uh, to the hard disk but it will record at a higher bandwidth so you can have a higher quality image going to the hard disk so you can record uh. full AK at the same time because all of this is now connected by a normal computer switch yep. and there's a there's a computer connected to it as well so this computer is now taking that same image that is coming from the camera right, and it's being recorded into the hard disk and playing back at 8K resolution on the TV. Wow, okay. So it's almost instantaneously. It is live. Alright, it's live. Yeah. So imagine if you are 1 kilometer, 10 kilometers away and you need an 8K video image from a camera to play back on a large screen uh, or video wall. Yeah, you now can you, do that now. You can do that now. Not only that, you can then take that same uh, 8K image and send it to a computer to process it okay. so that it can then be processed, reprocessed for use in a XR headset like the Vision Pro. Correct. Wow. Okay, right? I understand. And it can also be used to uh, be converted into multiple file formats. It can then be used to send to an AI who will then take all the background out and replace the background with something else. Wow. So the thing is, because it is now on an IP network, it is now on a computer network, the file can be sent anywhere. Instantaneous and so fast. Yes. Right? Yes. So this is some of the things that we have here. Okay. Yeah. So thank you very much. Uh, the insights were great. You're welcome. A lot of people now know why rate is so expensive. No, it's not that okay, expensive. Okay, not expensive, but 
not very affordable against other competitors. But of course, you have a niche over there. We we like to think that the other competitors, they 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 all make good cameras. Please don't misunderstand that we think <laughs> our cameras are not good. All the cameras are good. They all serve their purpose. You know, if you need something that the red can do, come to us. If you need something that another camera can do, please go to them. They are not. There is no such thing as a bad camera, just a bad operator. Well said, well said. Yeah. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.